Hi everyone, Chris Anderson with Mount Comfort RV. Well, today's gonna to be a, a totally new uh, type of video. Instead of reviewing an RV like we normally do, well, I'll welcome you into my RV. This is uh, my uh, Salem Wildwood uh, travel trailer. Uh, this is a 2016 model for those of you keeping score at home. We're gonna do an RV upgrade, and this upgrade is, is about keeping your RV cool. There's, a, there's kind of a short, there's a bad design in most RVs. I'm gonna show you what it is. Somebody smarter than me figured out a, a, a workaround on this and it's one of those when I, that when I first read about this and, and watched a video on it I was like oh my gosh this just makes so much sense I, I had to uh, order one I got in touch with the company um, so first first things first this is completely non-sponsored they didn't give me a freebie uh, this is just my review because I'm really impressed by this product it's not something we sell at Mount Comfort RV um, you you have to go directly to the manufacturer to get it so um, without further ado this is my upgrade. It's a hunk of foam, but it's a very well-designed hunk of foam. This is going to make more air come out of this ductwork. Um, by design, RVs have bad airflow. Um, and, and it's just the manufacturers have never really taken the time to, uh, to get this right in most cases. This little piece gets it right. Um, I'm gonna show you how this works. Follow along with me. Got a few tools laid out here on the counter. I got a couple screw guns. Uh, you need a 3 8 inch socket, you need a couple screwdrivers, my razor knife, my torque wrench. Those are the tools that are going to be involved here. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to shut off the air conditioner first of all. There we go. And then while it's winding down, you take a little razor knife and you pop out these little plastic guys. Be careful, you can break them. One there. And one there. Okay, we're going to take out our filter. That comes down just like this. All right, come here. All right, and now we are going to take off the cover. Um, this cover is held on by six screws. The shorter ones go in the middle on, on mine. screws down. We're just going to set this aside. We'll come back to that later. All right. So the way your air conditioner works is on this half over here, this is the output. That little hole right up there, that is where all of the air gets pushed out of the air conditioner. The problem is that the input and the return is right here next to it up in this half. The manufacturer, we're trying to get a shot from over here, Troy. This baffle right here is an important piece, and normally you'll see some white foam on there. Mine was a, a half an inch from making it all the way to the top. Well, that, if this baffle doesn't go all the way to the top, and you can see I have it taped off up in there now, uh, if that baffle doesn't go all the way to the top, well, this air that's coming in is going right back out. That's why you'll hear people complain about uh, their air conditioner drips, um, their air conditioner freezes up. You can't have the, the nice cool air getting sucked right back up into the air conditioner or bad things are going to happen. And that's where the RV manufacturers typically do a sloppy job in here. Like I said, mine wasn't even close to being all the way to the top. The baffle didn't even go all the way up. You'll see all kinds of gaps in here. I've cleaned mine up quite a bit. Um, and then we find this, this, uh, um, this new device here um, from RV Airflow is the name of the company. And uh, we're gonna put a link to the website in, in the description of this video, of course. Um, and I just had to have this because I had cleaned mine up a little bit, but this does a much better job than, than what uh, I can do. So our next step, it's going to be to remove these two screws here, and this this is a, the controller for your AC. We're just going to let it kind of dangle. It, it's not heavy enough to hurt anything dangling by the wires, so I'm going to kind of work it out of here, and that's fine. Now, four more screws to take this apart. These are three eighths inch, okay. big long screws. These are actually the ones that hold the air conditioner on. Okay. Now this outer cover should just pop off in here now. Come on. Oh, okay, so what's holding it on now is all that nice tape work I did, um, getting that baffle up in there. Well, I'm gonna have to cut that. I'm not gonna need my handy dandy work here anymore. Like I said, there's a better, there's a better solution now. 
that Come on. That's good tape. Won't let go. There we go. All right. So, here's what we were talking about. This is the baffle, okay? And this is the only thing that separates hot air from cold air um, on, on your RV. Um, and this is the part that, I mean, you know, it just wasn't very well put in in the first place. So I'm gonna cut this off of here. Set this on the stove for a minute. Just gonna cut that tape. Cause we're not gonna need this baffle anymore. There we go. This part, not going back in. All right, so what this new device does, let's take a good look at this RV airflow. Normally the air gets pumped out of this hole right here and it doesn't have any direction to it. It goes right down against this, the back of this grate. The air just hits right here. Well, the air needs to go left and right. Now I know you've got the little RV dump here that I've kind of disabled because I'm, these are kind of noisy. Um, and, and you can open that up and then a lot of airflow will flow right down on top of you. And that works pretty well, honestly. But when we close that off and send it back to the duct work so it can go to the bedroom and the bathroom, um, the air is just bouncing off of here. And sure, some of it makes it into this duct work here and here, but not much of it. And it's lost all its velocity um, by the time it gets there. Airflow likes radiuses. They like smooth curves um, in order to, uh, to flow properly. And that's what this has. If we take a good look here, you've got a center splitter, and then this is a nice radius into this duct, and then this is a nice radius into that duct. It's so simple, it's so ingenious, but I, they've done airflow measurement tests on this. Um, it absolutely is a significant increase. So before you go putting a second air conditioner on your RV or a third air conditioner or um, upgrading from a 13.5 uh, BTU air conditioner to a 15, why don't we improve the airflow and make sure we're getting the maximum efficiency out of our RV uh, that we possibly can. So that's what we're working on here today. All right, there's a couple other little pieces that come with this. These go in my ductwork in order to uh, get them ready to go. So that'll go like right in there, like so. And then the other one goes on the other side. And there's some two-sided tape it looks like on here. So we'll peel that back. This just makes it so it's a nice, smooth mounting surface for the foam to go up against. Now, this one. There we go. So now my ducks are ready to go. Then this piece is just going to slide right up in here. Goes right up against the air output. Might have to fidget with it a little. They're made to fit tight. And you want it to be tight. So we have this now up in there. It fits pretty tight, actually. A little, little uh, I had to fidget with it a little bit more than I anticipated to get it in, but you want it in there tight. Um, so now the the, the foam piece is right up against the plastic inserts. It's right up against the bottom of the air conditioner. I've got no gap at the top, so I know that that, that foam gasket that was on top of this is, is, is going to get all of that air um, and force it into my ductwork, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so now we can kind of start the reassembly process. Um, now that that's in, as like I said, we don't need the, the one baffle. I'm gonna get this back in place. Being careful not to damage any wires. Okay. And look how nice that fits up in there. That's beautiful. All right. Now let's see if we can get lucky and get a screw to catch. There we go. Got it. And even though it sounds like this is a heavy duty impact, it's it's not. <laughs> I'm barely putting anything on them. These do have a torque spec. We're going to torque those back in place here shortly. That needs to get up in there just a little further. Um, all right. So now I'm going to put uh, put stuff back together and uh, in the reverse order of what we took them out. I'm going to torque those board bolts down. Brought my torque wrench with me. By the way, for those of you who have torque wrench, these, this is in inch pounds, not foot pounds. If you try to put this to foot pounds, you're going to strip out some bolts. So don't do that. All right. Uh, let's get this put back together. Okay, so 
one other thing I wanted to point out here before we uh, put the cover back on. Um, now, I, I had previously blocked this off because it was kind of making a whistling sound and these air conditioners are loud enough anyway. Um, and we didn't use, really use the quick dump feature much. We, we liked it ducted out through the entire coach. So you will lose this, the, the quick duct feature, but you don't have to tape it off like I did. Um, but the one thing you do have to do is see these tabs, these four tabs sticking up there? They will not work going forward. You can't, you can't put the cover back on with those there. So you, you can remove these. And, and the best way to do this, I believe, is just take your razor knife and we're gonna score that. I'm trying to go to a straight line this time. There we go. So three or four times across there. And then it should break where we want it to. Hey, I like it when stuff works. All right, so we're gonna do this and remove all four tabs. And then we'll get the cover back on and we'll, we'll be testing this out. Okay, so pretty easy install. We're about to turn it on for the first time. Uh, like I said, things go back in, in the same order you took them out. Just reverse, reverse and it goes right back in. Um, very easy install. Um, there's a few videos. I've, I've watched other videos on this um, as well. We just have a big following and I wanted to make sure that our customers um, are uh, aware that such a thing exists because quite frankly, I've been in the RV industry for 16 years. I had no idea this existed, so um, I'm pretty excited. Let's, uh, uh, let, let's do a little test here, see if we've got some airflow. Okay, should kick on in a second. I will tell you it's a little quieter right out of the gate. Um, you know, RV, anybody's tried to uh, watch TV with one of these going, those, um, uh, these, these tend to be pretty noisy. Oh yeah. So let me check back here in the bedroom. Unbelievable. Yeah. This, folks, it's for real. Like I said, this isn't a sponsorship. We don't sell them. This was me just wanting to uh, uh, show you that there are better, more efficient ways of, of dealing with ducting an RV. They figured it out here at uh, uh, RV Airflow. Uh, I hope, uh, hope you enjoyed this. Give us a like, subscribe to our page. We'll be doing more videos like this in the near future. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris Anderson with Mount Comfort RV.